So Whoopi Goldberg got suspended from The View for a couple of weeks, I think two weeks, uh, for a statement that she made. And I want to know what y'all think about it. Don't play with me. So this is coming from the New York Times just so that we have a foundation so we understand the situation, okay? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg said that the Holocaust was about man's inhumanity to man and not about race. When one of her co-hosts challenged that assertion saying the Holocaust was driven by white supremacy, Ms. Goldberg said, but these are two white groups of people. Uh, this is white people doing it to white people, so y'all going to fight amongst yourselves. Now, before I talk about this, I just want to preface it with I am not a historian. I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm no scholar like that. I'm just speaking off of the research that I did, the shit that I already know, and you know what I mean? What's before us today? So, like, as we get into this conversation, just know I am not no uh, history college professor like let's let's get that out the way so correct me if I'm wrong whatever I just it is what it is right so my view is that I think this conversation requires more nuance than people are giving it right um and, but I think it's especially corny for her to be and and Whoopi has said some corny shit and I just in the past and yeah she's definitely run me the wrong way in the past about a lot of shit but the thing that annoyed me about this situation is the difference in standards especially because when you when you have these conversations about uh black people doing anything or black people experiencing oppression or whatever and then you get a rebuttal from certain from certain people saying that oh well that specific race issue that you're talking about is not about race it's not about race i don't see color i don't see color i don't see none of that shit and when you have those people having those conversations about black people they, they, they don't get suspended <laughs> you know what i mean they don't get <laughs> It's almost like a normal talking point in a lot of these spaces. But immediately, as soon as Whoopi said some shit like this, bitch, they kept they come out the woodwork. They said, bitch, matter of fact, you're getting your ass suspended. And we want you to sit in that corner and think about what you've done. I think that whoever in charge of ABC then said something like that, essentially. Like, we just need her to chill out, take a moment to think about <laughs> the words that she said. And she did apologize. And I'm gonna read it. She said, I said something that I feel a responsibility for not leaving. Uh, unexamined because my words upset so many people, which was never my intention, and I understand why now, and for that, I am deeply, deeply grateful because the information I got was really helpful and helped me understand some different things. Um, it is indeed about race because Hitler and, and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Now words matter and mine are no exception. I regret my comments as I said, and I stand corrected. I also stand with the Jewish people as they know, and y'all know, because I've always done that. So here's my take on it. Obviously the Holocaust was about race. Like, like white supremacy, Nazi, Nazi ideology, like that shit. The focus is on race. But I think though, that we have to remember that there were the categories that they were using, Nazi was using, especially when, it, when you talk about in Europe and Germany versus everybody, like they developed their categories and they enforced them. They, they developed their propaganda off that shit, off those categories, right? From my understanding, in today's world, uh, to be Jewish is like an ethno-religious, like ethno-religious group, right? It's not like a race in today's, um, you know, today's understanding, navigating today's definition of race is just like, it just, it just doesn't really come into fact, like when you're talking about Jewish people, and from my understanding, right? But also if you want to step away from that, the Holocaust wasn't just about white Jews, right? This is from the Holocaust Encyclopedia. The Nazis believed that human beings could be classified collectively as races with each race bearing distinctive characteristics that had been passed on genetically since the first appearance of humans in prehistoric times. These inherited characteristics related not only to outward appearance and physical structure, but shaped internal mental life. Regarding the Jewish religion as irrelevant, the Nazis attributed a wide variety of negative stereotypes about Jews and Jewish behavior to an unchanging biologically determined heritage that drove the Jewish race uh, like other races to struggle to survive by expansion at the expense of other races while it classified jews as a priority enemy the nazi ideological concept of race targeted other groups for persecution imprisonment and annihilation these groups included roma people with disabilities poles 
Soviet prisoners of war, Afro-Germans. So yeah, looking at it, the Holocaust was about race, especially with the definition of race that the Nazi party had and were building their shit off of, right? But when you're looking at it through the, like today's kind of lens, especially in this uh, society, this kind of society, Jewish people, in my, uh, my understanding, are an ethno-religious group. And so when Whoopi is saying, oh, well, it's white people fighting against white people, it wasn't about race, I think that's what she is seeing. And I don't think that she's wrong for seeing it that, but there weren't just, like I said, there weren't just white Jews who were, so even if you're seeing it that way, it wasn't only just white Jews that were killed in the Holocaust. So it's like, yeah, I think when, in a lot of people's minds, when they think of the Holocaust, they think, like, they think of the victims as being like white people, like white Jews. Which they wouldn't be wrong, like you wouldn't be wrong, but I think we have to make sure we talk about or remember the big picture, remember that they weren't the only ones being persecuted. We have to remember that Nazi Germany had their own definitions of race and character based off of characteristics just shit. They built off they shit off of that. I think we have to remember that. We have to remember that our definitions of race right now um, in this country, in this society, in this time, is a little different, it's a little, ch it's a little different than what they were doing over there, I think. So it's just like all of those things mixed together, I think require nuanced thinking and nuanced analyzation of, of what she what she was, what the fuck she was talking about. But I just, I, my main thing is I think it's so interesting that all these misinterpretations, misinformation on purpose about anti-blackness, about slavery, you know, any type of racism that black people are facing, a lot of that shit, it, they're okay with that being misinterpreted. They're okay with you not having nuanced conversation about that shit. They're okay with y'all saying this shit isn't about race when it actually is about race. I just think it's so interesting to see how, how differently the, the issues have been handled since I was in grade school. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I think it's so crazy to watch it unfold. Like the amount of misinformation that's allowed and courage when it comes to anti-blackness, when it comes to bullshit that black people have to face. But when it comes to the other shit, it's like, and I'll just say other shit. It's like, because you have no room. <laughs> You have no room for nuance. They have no room to talk about this shit. You're you're suspended. Oh my god, they came down on her head. They came down on her head. And I'm just like, damn, I wish y'all had this much fucking holy reverence for all of the other crazy shit in history. That, or the shit that's happening now. You know, like, I wish y'all did. But yeah, I just think it's unfair to really approach this topic just from one point of view only. I just think there's so many factors that are involved with uh, the discussion of this topic. So yeah, I just think, I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, Whoopi Goldberg has said some other crazy shit that I really do not agree with. A, a lot of times she does say some shit like that. But for all of the industry to come down on her head for saying some shit like this, I don't think it's fair. I think she could have worded it differently. She said that she learned some more about it. She was more informed by people now. But yeah, I mean, even something as simple as them acting like Dr. Martin Luther King wasn't speaking about capitalism and the state of poverty in this country. You know what I mean? They ignore all that shit. They, they revise whatever fuck they want to revise when it comes to niggas. But when it comes to other shit, they're just, they want to come down your head. They want to come down your head. And I just, in this particular case, I think the automatic dragging was, was a little too much. It was a little unfair. Like, and then to be suspended over that shit, I don't know. I don't know, but like I said, I'm not a historian, I am not a professor, so maybe my analysis of this, and I don't even wanna call it analysis, they're just talking about it. Maybe it's a little incomplete, maybe I'm missing something, maybe I'm not understanding something, <laughs> but this is what I'm seeing off of face value. I just, it's the incongruency for me. It's the asymmetry for me. That's all I wanted to say. On that note, let me know if I made sense. Hopefully I did. On that note, I love y'all so much. If you like hearing me talk, make sure that you check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. And also make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. Don't play with me.